What's up guys? Patrick here, New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Jerry with Jerry's Custom Vans is back in the channel. He's gonna give us a tour of a new Ram Promaster custom camper van conversion. And he totally nailed it on this one. He came up with a bed design that converts that I've never seen anything like it ever before and you guys gotta check it out. So join us for the tour. Thanks for having me back on the channel again, Patrick. I wanna show you my latest build. It's a 2023 Ram Promaster 2500. And as you can see, the, uh, it has a Thule uh, awning that can either have the legs go straight down or caught with the keepers. We have a step up into the van. We have the granite gray color, which is a, gives it, I think, a richness to the look. Factory windows in the sliding door in the back. Come on in. And I'll show you what we've got. We've, as you can see, swivel seats, a uh, full shower. We have a split kitchen, a uh, queen size bed, and I can't wait to show you what this bed's going to do in a couple of minutes. Now that you know where everything's laid out, let's come back up to the front. You can see we have uh, swivels that I've installed uh, for the seats. We'll have storage underneath the footrest for here. We have uh, blackout curtains that can close either behind the seats when they're facing forward. And the neat thing about what I did was I put magnets on these so they will will uh, be able to hold up around the back so you can have full privacy while the seats are turned around at night. There's uh, in the uh, storage compartment there is a blackout blind for the sliding windows. I have them for the bunk windows and the back windows. You can see we have a Max Air fan that's also on a remote. A full shower, 36 by 24, uh, tile walls with shelves. We have the cedar mat. We have the Nautilus sliding uh, shower door that squeegees off the water when you get out. I have a regular cassette toilet in here, but it can always be upgraded if you decide that you want something different. The shower dumps into a gray water tank, 20 gallons, with a motorized uh, ball valve. Now, the floor is uh, LVP so it can take uh, any water spills without any ha having any problem. In the kitchen we have a deep sink, we have the induction cooktop, we have a, the Dometic uh, sliding fridge and freezer. All the drawers are on push to open so they stay locked while you're driving. Underneath the sink we have the water gauge we have the shutoff for the water tank, or for the water pump. We have the ball valve controls and extra storage down the bottom. Over here we have trash can, and then we have a butcher block that can fit over the sink. Up behind the induction we have a cubby that could store wine, olive oil. We have a couple of outlets. We have the, uh, the switch for the Water heater, which I'll explain in a little bit, which is a heat exchange water heater, runs off the antifreeze lines. Uh, the uh, shutoff for the fridge when they don't want to use, use it. Uh, the touch screen, which operates everything in the back, which is um, batteries all in the Victron system. I have two 300 uh, amp hour lithium smart batteries, which are good. The smart batteries control the heat of the batteries in the winter time because the cold affects the lithium. So I have that. We have a DC to DC charger, which means that as you're driving, it's also charging the batteries. And on the roof, we have 400 watts of solar panels. We have an extra cubby here. A light comes on when the uh, van opens up before you have to flip any switches. And then we have storage here with locks, three of those. We have the uh, slatted roof and underneath all throughout the van we have Thinsulate and rock wool insulating everything. And in the back we have bunk windows, we have um, shiplap uh, siding in the back, we have a 12,000 BTU 12 volt air conditioner, and we have blackout blinds for everything. Over on this side we have um, storage, two different size drawers. As you can see, we have extra cubbies here, butcher block countertop, controls for the heater, shower, outlets. We have a microwave, extra storage. 
And over the bed we have extra storage, USB, and reading lights. Pull out table here for extra prep room when you're cooking. And now here's the bed. Check it out. That extra space countertop that I showed you now becomes your area for dining. We have facing seats and you can see that uh, we've got storage underneath this one. This is where the water heater, you have access to that. As I mentioned, it's a heat exchange water heater. It runs antifreeze lines from the engine. It keeps the water hot while you're driving. It has the electric backup that I showed you and then it's set up for uh, with bypass so it can be winterized without having to fill the whole water tank with antifreeze. Another cool thing, you could use this also as a lounge where you can sit back and enjoy the view. I'll take you around back now. We have a 20 gallon fresh water tank here keep the hose to connect to an outside shower. And now on the other side, all the battery system here, you can see, we have the Multi Plus, which is, operates automatically from the touch screen. We have the uh, Lynx distributor, the solar controller, the servo that operates everything for the touch screen. You have access to the switches, to the fuses, to the Orion uh, smart charger there, access to the batteries, and these can pop out if they need to for any maintenance you need to do. We have extra shutoff switches for both the inverter and then the, the main kill switch. Everything's right here. And back here we have outlets with USB. We have the shore power hookup for 30 amps right here. Underneath the bed there's plenty of room for storage. We have the low point drain here, which is also the fill for the antifreeze for the winterization. Over here, we have the hookup for city water. And then you'll notice people always ask what that is. That's the exhaust for the Webasto. Jerry, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of your awesome creation. I've been on the channel now at least eight times, and every build keeps getting better and better and better. And then compared to your last one, I think you moved now the shower all the way up to the front versus yes. the middle. And that bed design is genius. A futon that becomes a queen size bed, a sofa and a dinette all in one, and you still have storage underneath it. I think people are really going to like that. Now this one's for sale, so I'll make sure I leave links in the description so our viewers can get in touch with you. If it winds up being sold before this video airs, you're doing contract build? I am doing contract build, so you can contact me yeah. on Instagram at Jerry's Custom. Vans. Awesome. Now, on a contract build, are people just come up with whatever they want, or you have like set floor plans? I have a couple of floor plans. We can do it with either we buy the van, or you have a van that's already in your possession. We can pretty much do anything that you need to have done. Well, that's great to hear. I'm great to see that you're still building some awesome vans. This is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. I'll see you soon.